In this video, we're going to be working through three word problems that are going to be using the Pythagorean theorem to solve them. In the first one it says, John drove his car due east for 8 miles. He then turned south and drove 15 miles. How far was he from where he started? Okay, well if John's got a car, we better draw a little handy dandy car here. Of course, not a very good one. That's okay though. Okay, and he's going eight miles due east. And this is eight miles. And then he turns and goes 15 miles south. So we're headed south, and this guy is 15 miles. And we want to know how far is he now from where he started. So we could draw a little dashed line in there and say we're looking for this length right there. We could call it C because it looks like it's going to be the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So what will the leg lengths be? Well, it looks like we've got 8 miles here and 15 miles here. So if we use A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we can plug our values in. So 8 will be one of our legs. 15 will be the other leg, and c squared is this distance that we're looking for. Okay, so 8 squared is going to be 64. 15 squared will be 225 is c squared. So when we add these up, it looks like we're going to get 289 equals c squared. So if we take the square root of both sides, so we can cancel out this radical and the square, we'll get c equals and then the square root of 289 will be 17. So my value of C right here is actually 17 miles. In our second word problem, it says the walls in a square room are each 14 feet long. What is the distance from one corner of the room to the opposite corner? Okay, well, if we have a square room, uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture, 14 feet all the way around because it's a square room and we want to know the distance from one corner to the opposite corner so we're looking for this distance right here okay well it looks like since it's a square we've got right angles all the way around which means we've got a right triangle up here and a right triangle down here so if we're going to be solving for this length of the opposite corner to the other corner that's going to be a nice right triangle so and that's going to be the hypotenuse so a squared plus b squared equals c squared where 14 is our a value and 14 will also be our b value since our legs are all the same so 14 squared is 196 plus another 14 squared is another 196 when I add them together it looks like it's going to be 392 equals c squared well, since it's c squared and I just want it to be c, I can take the square root of both sides and this radical with the square cancels out. So c equals the square root of 392. Well, 392 is not a perfect square, so we're going to have to use our prime factorization and simplify this radical. So if we reduce it by 7 first, looks like we'll get 56. 7 again makes an 8. The 2 makes 4. 2 makes 2, and a final 2 will make 1. So this square root of 392 is really going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 times 7, which it looks like here's a pair of 2s, and here's a pair of 7s. So that pair will come out, and that pair will come out, and we'll really have 2 times 7 on the outside, with just the radical 2 left in the middle, or in the inside, I should say. So our final value will be 14 times the square root of 2, and this is in feet. So the length from one corner to the opposite corner will be 14 times the square root of 2 feet. Our final example says, find the height of an equilateral triangle whose sides are all 8 inches long. Okay, so we've got an equilateral triangle here. I'm going to say this guy is 8 inches, 8 inches, 8 inches. And we want to find the height. 
So I can kind of draw this guy right down there. And the height, remember, is always perpendicular to the base, or we can say it forms a right angle. So this height we can call h. And it looks like, since this is going to be right down here, it's going to break this base up into two equal parts. So each one of these will be four inches. So we've got a couple of identical right triangles here. We've got a right triangle that's facing over to the left and a right triangle that's facing over to the right. So I could redraw that if, if you would like, just to be one triangle. Okay, so here's the height. We're not sure what that is. Our hypotenuse is eight inches, and this base over here is gonna be four inches. Okay, so let's solve for H. We have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this A value is going to be this H, so we could say the height squared plus 4 squared equals 8 squared. Okay, well let's go ahead and just simplify all of these. H squared plus 16 equals 64. Okay, so when I subtract 16 from both sides, I'm going to get H squared equals, and that should be 48. So, since we have it squared, I will take the square root of both sides, and the square and the square root will cancel each other out, so it'll just be h equals the square root of 48. But that square root of 48, I bet that'll simplify pretty nice. So let's come over here and do 48 and find the prime factorization. If we cut it in half, we'll get 24. Cut it in half again, we'll get 12. Again for 6. Again for 3 and a 3 makes 1. So the square root of 48 really becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, four twos, and then a 3. So to simplify it, we have two pairs of 2's, so that pair comes out and that pair comes out. So the height will be this 2's on the outside, this 2's on the outside, this 3 didn't have any, anybody to pair up with, so he stays on the inside. So the final height of this is going to be 4 times the square root of 3 when you simplify the square root of 48. So there are our three word problems using the Pythagorean theorem for a solution.